guys good morning have you gone through this comprehension part of say set have you seen that yeah it looks good right okay so understand certain background then i'll come back to this 2011 i believe as far as uh, i remember 2011 it started if you guys observe 2011 12 13 passages were very long as you approach to 18 19 20 short okay the shorter the tougher right so here there are certain things you are expected to know skill first tell me what is the difference between knowledge and skill just uh, you know i'm not testing anything just a casual talk what do you understand by knowledge versus skill very good you know knowledge if you know something you are knowledgeable do you know the president of india even i know it means we are knowledgeable okay do you know we have uh, gravitational force to the earth knowledgeable as if you take any subject of yours whatever you are going through whatever you are reading you know mugging up taking all the information broadly if you see this is all knowledge agreed what do you have in history facts 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 something happened so yeah that's it that's it what do you have in physics somebody already observed and it came out with something you know definitions right you take it what what do you have in polity what do you have in economic everything is filled with facts and you guys are taking observing you are knowledgeable no doubt about it okay at least i would like to believe in that okay next comes to skill skill comes with the practice before that you should actually understand you know here it comes with here so when it comes to comprehension it's all about skill you know interestingly i have seen some students are actually you know last year or if you observe for the past 3 years he is focusing more on you know women empowerment topics sir let me focus on that no way guys he is not testing your knowledge at all he is just you know testing your skill that is one thing next <clears throat> what is that needed to actually master this i would say three angles what is a paragraph can you tell me okay let me go back paragraph is made of sentences are made of okay fine we'll we'll stop there now if you reverse i would always say reading and writing are two sides of the same coin if i know how to write i can read if i know how to read i can also write well in fact my focus is more on writing if you observe your exam only this preliminary part you go are going to you know bubble and all after that write 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 if you have good control on this sentences paragraph and your uh, communication i mean how you express on the paper i would say you are half way through you think you can write obviously you know i would say reading and writing both are two i would say two ways you know physical activity you know you can read physical activity my eyes are going to that what is going here even writing also yeah i can hold i can say a p p l e a p l b a l b a l and i can also write sentences sir right or paragraphs sir but after that sometimes most of the times what happens students you read whatever you have written even you don't understand have i written this okay <clears throat> now there is a particular way of writing anything okay before that let me uh, give my background then you only to uh, make you believe that you are in the right place with the right person guys i am a journalist turned teacher i started my career as a journalist then obviously you know slowly i moved here and i am into all facets of language teaching you need you take any exam i am there so so season you know this is a season for csat part comprehension part so i I'll go around okay now look at this uh, do do you guys watch this ipl yeah right what was that match yesterday's match yeah now see i'm a reporter i am communicating this i want to report that match to the readers and there is a particular pattern 
that is called inverted pyramid style whenever you see a sports news article or whatever the reporting part first they will give the conclusion they will completely give the final result then they will move because the purpose of any reporting is to give the information not to maintain suspense so you generally this goes like this the match between punjab and bangalore yesterday at chinnaswamy stadium bangalore <coughs> won with so and so wickets right i have given the complete part then chasing the score of some 170 or i don't remember actually right blah 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 in you know, initially uh, faltered blah 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 goes like this okay now <coughs> this is one part please understand my intention i am giving you the pattern i cannot simply dump whatever i know you got all the information you have to follow this pattern for example sports suppose the same i want to write a story then this is pyramid style first beginning then goes like this then like this i cannot start actually this fellow killed this fellow this is the you know this is a suspense they cannot start the story or if it is a match i cannot start like this yesterday chinna swami stadium both the captains walked into the field umpire took the coin and swilled the coin into the air both the captains with a bated breath looked at the coin you know are kya what happened what happened no people don't follow this everything has a pattern and have you heard this one five w's and h now see suppose look at this listen to the statement yesterday cm telangana cm revanth reddy came to ashok nagar to inaugurate xyz ias uh, academy now who okay where why when i have given answer for these questions indirectly so you know, people follow this pattern fine and now let us look at one more angle of the paragraph then i am going to ask you to do this one paragraphs depends on the nature as i said you know there is a pattern there is a particular format and what are these nature wise how can we divide it number 1 narrative paragraphs you understand narrative paragraph means i narrate a story again there is a pattern and descriptive paragraph what is descriptive paragraph i am simply describing you know if you close your eyes and listen to that if it is a well written paragraph you actually see that picture yeah yeah right descriptive paragraph then you have analytical paragraphs okay like that you have so many i am not actually interested in all this but i want you guys to really focus on one that is called argumentative paragraph what does it mean argumentative paragraph means writer is trying to convince something to, you know to readers i am trying to convince you okay that's point point number one and number two look at the format for this generally guys if you if i really want to communicate something you know this is a format as a writer i do this i tell the readers what i am going to tell you first part i tell you what i am going to tell you first part is done second part i tell you now conclusion <coughs> i tell you what i have told you got it now in our csat or any comprehension part there are actually three persons involved number 1 writer writer is very simple guy he comes and he wants to convey something he has written something and he left second person readers you are the readers you know you are going through that there is a third person who examiner examiner comes hi have you read this yes sir have you understood yes sir then i have a question for you and that too i give four options this is what the story right among these three the most cunning fellow is the examiner writer is always there to communicate as easy as possible okay but only examiner is trying to confuse you with his options okay but he doesn't know he cannot confuse you why you are already confused okay how can anybody confuse a confused person fine <coughs> so this is a pattern now 
the focus should be on i'm telling you guys how writers write paragraph and see how easy it becomes i'll come back and join with you now if you can and anyway tell me what are the questions you generally see tell me you know in see sad what are the question you generally face louder what right. crux of the passage main point summary and inference and <coughs> assumption right whatever let him ask anything guys our raw material is that paragraph okay now you try on your own i'll join you i just want to test the water so look at the question first which of the following statements best sums up the meaning of the above summary main point crux of the passage and he has given four options read that passage be ready with your answers i'll join you or for the sake of the last benches shall i read that passage <coughs> modern warfare has changed from large scale clashes of armies to suppression of civilian populations chemical agents that do their work silently appear to be suited to such warfare and regretfully there exist people in military establishments who think that chemical agents are useful tools for their cause from this passage what is the summary of that a b c d a modern warfare has resulted in civil strife b chemical agents are useful in modern warfare c use of chemi chemical agents in warfare would be undesirable people in military establishments like to use chemical agents in war what is your answer who is going for a raise your hands who is going for b raise your hands are you not like this you know okay who is going for c raise your hands like this like this is half hearted okay okay, okay. who is going for d okay fine got it a b c d selected now see uh, look at the way i ask you to see then if you want to change your answer you change <clears throat> number 1 guys you see paragraphs right if you see one essay you have a difference in a paragraph why do you think there is a division in a paragraph i have written one paragraph here again there is a one more paragraph there is why do you think writer is dividing that into paragraphs why can't he write in one go because one paragraph deals with one idea one paragraph yes again means <coughs> there is one idea okay fine next it means he is talking about one idea that is the point i'm trying to make now interesting guys if somebody talks to you or somebody writes he has to write about a person or a thing i mean doesn't any 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 subject it could be thing or an idea whatever whenever you read a paragraph <coughs> back of your mind you ask this question who is he talking about or what is he talking about that's the first thing you tell me don't tell me anything don't go through this four options go through that passage once again and tell me who is he talking about or what is he talking about that's enough what is he talking about super sir the topic he has chosen to discuss in this paragraph is modern warfare keep it aside now i'm the writer you know i'm i want to say something or i write something so first i think like what should i write what should i write who should i, I, I write okay i talk about india as a writer i have taken india now see the sentence india has multi cultures what is the topic i have chosen to discuss now what is the angle i have chosen to discuss here about india if i take india i can talk about n number of angles right i can talk about history of india i can talk about languages i can talk about economy i can talk about problems i can talk about what not corruption in india i can talk anything right so as a writer what is that i have chosen that is called scope please write down this read the passage to find out the subject first step let him talk anything find out who or what 
read the passage to find out the subject in bracket you write down who slash what okay then second point scope we call it a scope which angle of the subject now guys tell me what is the scope of this uh, you said yes sir he's talking about modern warfare so which angle of modern warfare is talking about <coughs> said loudly that's it sir he is talking about modern warfare and chemical agent if he is a chemical agent is a topic he has chosen to discuss then i will ask you what is a controlling idea or the, what is the scope then you can say sir he is talking about modern warfare that is clear right next listen to my statement then we will go back unfortunately last year most of my students cleared all their exams okay what is the presentation style am i presenting this information in a positive light or a negative light negative light okay luckily last year my students failed what is my presentation style positive i'm presenting this in a positive light or negative light so you are looking at my angle not your angle when i say uh, your angle means right what is that unfortunate about when somebody everybody failed I mean, everybody cleared exam means why, right? I am not asking to give your opinion about that. I am asking to look at my intention as a writer. How do you find out my intention? Choice of words. Okay, suppose you are angry. What kind of words come to you? Good, no, no, all, you know, unparliamentary or beep, 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 <laughs> right? So, how do you, you know, we, and, and, and if I am speaking to a person with this expression, I can make out angry or whatever. But on paper, writer cannot draw his face, you know, right side and showing his expression. No, his choice of words will tell you what kind of mindset he has. I mean, there are so many tones, you don't really worry about that. Let us divide, basically, is he presenting this information in a positive light or a negative light? That's what you need to find out. Here, you come back, positive or negative. Yes, last one, yes. Right? How do you know? How do you know? Which word is telling you that? Right. <clears throat> so you got the topic, you got the scope, you got the tone. That's called tone or presentation style. Fine. Now, examiner comes. One of the techniques he uses. Okay, what is the question? Summary. Na? Mm -hmm. First choice, I will give tone wrong he thinks like this okay second one i will change the scope maybe third option i will change the topic and he does it so subtly that you know we don't pay attention and first of all you should know that actually you are paying attention to that you should pay attention to this angle now a b c d right one by one first we'll check the tone only tone look at the first one Modern warfare has resulted in civil strife. What is the presentation style, positive or negative? Modern warfare has resulted in civil strife. Positive or negative? Positive. I am getting two answers from your side. That's <laughs> Modern warfare has resulted in civil strife. Negative. There is no positive about that because if I said, even if I said interestingly or you know happily something like that, he has not given. So negative. Put a question mark. Now B. Chemical agents are useful in modern warfare. Positive. Put a positive. Go to the uh, C. Use of chemical agents in warfare would be undesirable. Negative. Go to the D. People in military establishments like to use chemical agents in war. Straight away, two options are gone. I don't even care even other things match or not because tone is not matching here. So your option is between A and C. Okay, now tell me your answer. How many of you going for A? How many of you going for C? Now A guys tell me why not C, C guys tell me why not A. <laughs> you have to check out. Why do you think I am you know, taking out all the information here? Now C guys tell me why not A? What is the problem with A? Sir, I hate A. Generally, I don't go for A. No. Don't be emotional. Don't try to show your knowledge at all. Here. Ma. 
C or A? Now what's the wrong? Ah, why not A? That's it. That's it. Scope. What is the whole story about? Modern warfare and chemical agents in that. That's the thing. Okay. And what is the intention of the writer? Is he happy? So somebody is using chemical agents in war, war, modern warfare. Do you think writer is happy about that? Or unhappy about that? So that unhappiness I can clearly see in C. In A, where is that major part? Chemical agents part. So what is our answer? That's it. This is what actually you are expected to do. But generally what happens is a problem with civil servant aspirants. You have too much of knowledge. And you analyze. You are not expected to do that. We, you know, why not? Why this? Why chemical agents? We can also use something. And what kind of chemical agents? I know this A, B, C, X, Z with you know a formula. No, don't think too much. Okay, guys. The, all the information. Like, I tell you one more angle. You know, uh, engineers. You know, GMAT engineers are supposed to you know give this GMAT. I mean, uh, GRE or GMAT, whatever uh, management GMAT. GRE have comprehension part. GRE part, if you look at this, you have you know paragraphs divided for some paragraphs are taken from history, some are from uh, maybe uh, whatever economics, some literature, whatever. These guys and technical passages. So generally, what we expect from engineer, if it is a technical paragraph, he should be very good at that. But that fellow is very bad at that. You know why? He looks at the topic. Hey, this one I know yet. Okay, I you know, actually got, uh, written so many on this. I'm the master of this. And he tries to apply his own knowledge while answering the questions. No. Maybe the paragraph is nonsense. When you look at the outside information, what you have, you're not checking the facts outside the world. The writer is giving nonsense. So examiner asking, is this the nonsense he's talking? That's it. But you don't try to put the sense. Keep your senses with you only. <laughs> okay, guys. So answer is C. Agreed? Now try this technique with another one. Then I'll see. Try this. Yes, can you see? Shall I read out? One of the legacies of the Roman legions was discipline. In the legions, military law prevailed and discipline was brutal. Discipline on the battlefield kept units obedient, intact and fighting even when the odds and conditions were against them. Who is he talking about? What is he talking about? Loudly. Roman legends straight away got the topic. What is the scope? Super. Okay, you got it. What is the presentation style? Positive or negative? Super. You have actually retrieved the information, you know, points wise. Okay, now give me your answer. If you make mistake, I understand that's a problem with the language. Thorough regimentation was the main reason for the efficiency of the Roman legions even in adverse circumstances. The legions were treated inhumanly as if the men were animals. Discipline was the army's inheritance from their seniors. The harsh discipline to which the legions were subjected to led to the odds and conditions being against them. What's your answer? I want everybody to answer. Who is going for A? Raise your hands. Who is going for B? Raise your hands. Who is going for C? Raise your hands. Who is going for D? Raise your hands. Who is going for E? E means two hands up. Hmm? Okay. Guys. Happy. Achha, somebody has actually gone for uh, Who is going for B? C. Okay. Now look at B. No one is going for B. Why? See, now you are talking, you know, like your professionals. You don't have to analyze. Actually, what happens, sir, in the Roman legends, actually, I know actually the, nothing. Whatever he says, now you are talking now sense. Sir, the tone is not matching, sir. This is what the comprehension language. Sir, tone is not matching, sir. Sir, that subject is diverted, sir. Where is the scope, sir? You know, that is what you are going to tell me. Now look at the B. The legends were treated inhumanly as if the men were animals. The presentation of this sentence is negative. Okay. Then I am happy 
that you guys actually understood his tone there. One of the legacies of the Roman legends were discipline. In the legends, military law prevailed and discipline was brutal. Oh, oh, negative. No, he didn't stop there. You know, had he stopped the paragraph there, maybe you would have said, sir, that is negative. But he said, continued, something positive about that. So, uh, straight away, B is gone. Next, discipline was the army's inheritance from their seniors. Okay, tell me what is the subject? Okay, which angle of discipline? Whose discipline is talking about? Hmm? In the passage, whose discipline is talking about? Roman legends. Where is that idea of Roman legends here? Look at these guys. Armies. Indian army or Pakistan army? I don't know. When he says armies, he's talking about all armies. But the, the topic in the passage is about Okay, topic is slightly diverted. Ma, understood? Okay, gone. Two are gone. Now, D guys tell me why not A? A guys tell me why not D? Who, who's going for A? Okay, uh, you tell me. Let, let me see whether I can hear your voice or not from there. Why not, uh, you said A, right? You, why not D? See, again you're analyzing. Tell me tone problem, topic problem, or scope problem. There ends the story. Tone. The harsh discipline, uh, that's what I'm telling you, language. The harsh discipline to which the legends were subjected to led to the odds and conditions being against them. You know what is a, what does that sentence mean? It's, yes, well said. Opposite. He said the hard discipline which these guys were put through with the in the name of discipline that actually helped them. That's what the passage is. But this, this sentence says actually putting themselves in the uh, odd situations. No. And another attractive part for the D, what happens generally seniors, I mean, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, regular student, what do you, I mean to say, academic wise. I'm sure you might have experienced this school level or if not college level, school level. Teacher, what is the answer for this question? Get your textbook. Teacher says, first paragraph, second line to fourth line. Answer. Right? Experience is. Now you don't get answers like that. You don't get answers like that. And one thing is there in your back of mind. Are you answer should get from the passage. Ah. Then look at that. You are checking the rubber stamp words. Le yeah, legends, legends. Or discipline, discipline. Yes, yes. Oh, arts and conditions. Yes, this is the answer. <laughs> now, you these uh, these ideas should be there in the option. Now, tell me. Look at the A. Roman legends. Try it away. Roman legends. Now, where is the idea of discipline? In the choice, you should have idea of discipline. Where is that idea of discipline presented? Thorough regimentation. Next, where is the idea of Mm, obedient efficiency and uh, where is the idea of odds and conditions guys understand we are dealing with ideas not with the words I may give you one idea in 10 different words here that fellow is given X maybe that X I am looking not for literal uh, you know spelling and all ideas clear now where do we generally make mistakes Number one, language. Okay? You read it. You understood. That's what you think that, right? right? You don't know whether you understood properly or not. You already retrieved this information, tone, topic, and you know, controlling idea, and uh, you made a mistake. Okay, number two. Now, listen to this. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a little secret. You take any sentence in English or rather any language. That sentence has to give me one fact or writer's opinion. Have you understood my point? So when you give me some information and I am back of my mind, maybe initially consciously I practice, back of my mind it works. Fact, opinion, fact, opinion, fact, opinion. And initially you have to do it consciously. You know why? Some questions deal with facts. Some questions deal with opinion. 
okay keep it in mind now i tell you something you think from this angle fact or opinion india is our country fact or opinion india is a great country that's it somebody may think great somebody may not think great but writer says right so you divide this okay fine we'll come back now i want to show you something will and, and finally i'll show you one c set paragraph also yeah that's what we guys can you see this now guys i have this last benches <clears throat> now i am talking about patterns read the first sentence the family hurry to the cellar and waited fact or opinion so somebody started a paragraph with the fact i don't know why he is trying to say uh -huh. because i know fact okay first they heard the pounding of the hailstones fact or opinion i heard the siren of an ambulance fact or opinion that's it they heard the pounding of the hailstone fact or opinion fact fact right oh two facts the wind became deafening and the children started crying fact or opinion fact suddenly it was silent fact or opinion so when when i am reading a paragraph and everything is a fact then i understand why is he giving these facts obviously there is his some some intention here so let let me go through that they waited a while before they ventured outside to see the damage the tornado had done fact okay tell me what is that he is talking about what is the topic tornado now point i'm trying to say guys generally this is a structure i told you writers tell you what they are going to tell in the first part itself not always i know till you read the last sentence you don't know why he is giving all this information this is called suspense paragraph right topic sentence the topic is mentioned at the end so now sometimes you expect to see the paragraph like this look at this the family heard the siren warning them that the tornado was coming fact okay they hurried to the cellar the roar of the tornado was deafening and the children started crying suddenly it was silent they waited a while before they went outside to survey the damage where is the topic you see in the, in the first sentence or the last sentence or somewhere in the middle sometimes you know he will give his uh, topic in the beginning itself okay most of the traditional paragraphs start with this okay now <clears throat> look at this one sometimes the topic is not stated in the passage at all but is implied as in the following passage now look at this the sky became dark and threatening you know you can visualize okay a funnel of dust began forming in the air and soon reached down to touch the ground debris was seen swirling around as everything was swallowed up twisted and then dropped guys what is he talking about okay now look at this tornado is not mentioned in the passage but you can make out with this description funnel of the dust in the air debris swirling twisted this is called inference okay inference means he has given some information in the passage but he is trying to tell you something okay but he has not stated you know you have to make out this skill you you, you know how many inference questions are there in your case and in for left right center inference and assumption we'll see we'll discuss all these things later okay now look at this you have to read this and tell me topic and the scope and also mention where is it actually seen in the beginning part or end of the paragraph or implied okay so i need to adjust yep can you see that okay i'll read out 
Before World War II, He and Y was a bustling little market town on the border of Wales and England. Fact and opinion. Okay. So see, look at your mindset. Fact. Okay. However, it became a dying town when Welsh agriculture declined, forcing many farmers off their land and to factory jobs in England. Fact and opinion. Fact. Today, he is flourishing again because of a flamboyant gentleman who has turned the town into the world's largest second-hand bookstore. Fact and opinion. It's lovely. He has given all the facts to give his opinion. What is his opinion? Based on the facts, you tell me that's inference. Now, who, I mean, what is he talking about? What is the subject? He and why? Okay, what is the scope? If I ask you to give the title of this paragraph, what would be the title of that? What is the story? So slowly you should get into this mindset, don't worry. I would say, sir, hey and why, uh, background bad, future good, rough, okay, or something turned into good. That's what, right? Hey and why was, what happened? World War Second World War, something happened. What damage? Then prospered. Line. If you observe, okay, let us use this technique. You watch a movie for three years. Okay. Then you come to your friends. See, he says, Hey, how was the movie? Sit, sit, sit. Huh? First, 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 titles. Do you say that? Or in after that, you dance, you know, songs, you sing a song. No, no. You know what to cut. You give that, we call it storyline. That's the way writers actually conceive the idea. They take one line, <coughs> they put. What do you say? How do you say? Uh, same old uh, love story. Yeah. Or a romantic horror. You know, you know new this one. Whatever I, mean, I say, you know, hero sees heroine and uh, they fall in love. <coughs> and uh, heroine's brothers uh, notices interval. Okay, after that how he fights and blah blah blah. So you try to take the storyline of the paragraph. Every paragraph has a storyline. And how do you know by asking, by putting these questions, who is he talking about, what is he talking about, what is the scope, what is the presentation style. Major, let him ask anything, make sure you understand these three points. After that depends on the questions, we know where to go, what to do, I tell you. Okay, fine. Now, try this, try this, target is what is it talking about. By 9 o'clock in the morning, the streets are lined with people, fact. Somewhere in the distance, a band is heard playing a marching song, fact. Shopkeepers are locking their doors and, that is, and, and joining the crowds, fact. Everyone is craning their necks to see how long it will be before the first float reaches them. Fact. What is he talking about? Sir, some rally is talking about some march fast something. Guys, what you have done is inference. Now, interesting point is inference, assumptions, these are the skills you already have. You know, these are all surviving skills. It's not that I'm going to teach you anything here. Already it's there, but only thing what I'm going to do is put you put put them on the right track. Now, what are these? We'll understand. Suddenly, door opens. Okay, a person with a knife in his hands is walking into the classroom. Fact. Tell me what can be the inference? What is that you can draw from this fact? Or who could that person be? Let me ask this question. Who could that person be? Amma? Robber and? Hmm? Thug, okay, synonym, okay. Hmm. And, and, who, who else can be the person? Think, think. Whose enemy? Your enemy or my enemy? You don't know, okay. Or I may be thinking, you know, from my, you are thinking from your point of view, I'm thinking, maybe my last year student here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, here what happens is 
you don't imagine anything you whatever you say you know robber you say enemy whatever you say you have to have a support in the paragraph so point is nobody can actually make out clearly okay anything is possible that i'll search okay we'll come back or or he could be a salesman you know sir one plus one offer you take this one i'll give one thalwar free whatever right that you don't imagine you only check next one suddenly we we hear the siren of our ambulance sitting here now what could be the possibility of things happening there definitely maybe some uh, emergency but you don't think salman khan coming to hyderabad right that is imagination creativity don't create okay fine <clears throat> that is you will come back now obviously here when you say sir something is talking some kind of procession and all how do you know there is a support for that okay so point is when you are asked to find out the inference your support is taken from the facts that's the reason while reading itself i divide facts facts opinions opinions so when you i am asked to find out the uh, you know inference i'll go back and check the facts he has given that has to support fine <coughs> that is the one thing next let me talk about some uh, language part here okay maybe i can show you i want to type here okay guys see here can i write no everything is this anyway fine guys <coughs> whether you accept it or not majority of the students have a problem with language part right sir lkg onwards i've been studying in english medium sir congratulations but still you know we have a problem here maybe at that basic level you okay as you take two three steps ahead problem you know first thing sentence formation <coughs> i am talking about how to read sentence properly guys most of indian languages have no fixed pattern i am talking about structures sentence structure okay uh, suppose i can write you know i'll write one my all telugu or hindi okay so uh, one sentence i read in hindi okay i mean i use uh, english script only okay just to say something yeah read this kal mai ghar nahi jaunga now translate this sentence word for word into english kal tomorrow my home won't go tomorrow i home won't go interestingly have you understood the message or not that's the skill of our indian students you know we speak and the skill lies in the listener he understands whatever you say you know tomorrow 11:30 no class come 12 discuss chapter 2 message is loud and clear agree or not and we say we, we speak, i speak english he speaks english okay if he if he doesn't understand that is his problem get my point nothing wrong in that ultimately pass on the message okay that skill helps you here now why i am saying this one is now read the sentence reverse jaunga nahi ghar michael also no problem no no grammatical problem here or break it ghar nahi jaunga michael or kal mai okay nahi jaunga michael ghar also no problem you break it in a pieces and throw pieces at him he will arrange them but english has a fixed structure okay sentence wise english has a fixed structure only we understand suppose if you say this to english hello i home won't go tomorrow excuse me 
simple language he doesn't understand <laughs> okay he wants everything to be in a proper order so <clears throat> guys 20 hours is what the duration of our uh, you know comprehension part so i divide into two parts 10 hours i will focus on sentence sentence structures paragraphs paragraph structures then comprehension what are the, what are the techniques he uses there and finally what are the cunning techniques he uses to confuse with the options then we'll practice if you know time use i mean definitely we have a time then we will see previous year questions okay today itself i'll give you after you know 10 15 minutes okay now look at this just 15 20 minutes i want to focus on sentence structures then i will show you where are my ppts yeah <coughs> guys now what is okay let me before that what is a sentence sentence means group of group of any words I can group any words and say this is a sentence no ah okay meaning sir it should give us meaning sir okay now look at this too the barking dog the dog is barking which group of words is a sentence a or b okay now understand nobody is going to ask you grammatical aspect of a sentence but back of the mind it should be there to understand certain things sometimes what happens whoever <clears throat> even as an experienced reader also sometimes he gets stuck in the sentence then he uses this grammatical knowledge okay let me break that oh fine this is the information he's saying so that will help you right very good now why what is the problem with a why don't you say it's a sentence when there is a sentence guys two things should be there to make it meaningful okay look at this can you see this birds fly is it a sentence or not yes. all of you okay whenever I ask you whether this part is sentence or not you are checking this where is the action where is action fly if action is there actor should be there who is the actor so most important part of any sentence is verb verb means action or be form without that there is no sentence it's it's not called a sentence okay fly is the action sir this one now i call it as s and v v means verb s means subject only two words enough for me to make a meaningful sentence sometimes I don't even want any other word except one verb. Is it a sentence or not? Is this a sentence or not? Yes or no? Confidently. No? Why? If it is no, why? Subject. Okay. Look at this. Stand. Stand, sit, raise your hand. Now look at this. Stand. Where is the subject? You. You is implied. Sit, you sit. Raise your hand, you raise your hand. You is implied. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So the subject of this is you implied. This is the shortest English sentence. So point I'm trying to make is heart of any English sentence is verb right so next only two words are enough suppose if I say sometimes like uh, this he knows where is the verb where is the verb okay that is action who now is I have a SNV does it make sense to you suppose I come to you and say he knows what is the question comes to your mind what then I put I put this this is called object or receiver of the action 
he is the actor nose is the action ideas is receiver second english structure sv svo now look at this dad uh, gave me where is action gave who actor uh, who is the receiver of the action so i got svo now tell me does it give the complete sense yeah yeah question comes to mind is what dad gave whom what okay dads are there for that okay and s v o o this is the third english structure now there is one more that's called s v c what is s v c now check it out now guys tell me what is the verb here raj is what is the verb here what is the difference between is and knows be form or position now after this be form let it be any word that is called c in 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 english i'll talk more about that so basically only four structures sv svo svovo svc story done the whole english is going around these structures if you take any sentence randomly that sentence has to fall into these structures okay fine <coughs> now what is the next one write down sim you know i'll maybe i'll send you notes later but i want uh, you guys to focus on certain areas then i'll ask you to write down basic english sentence structures s v then you can take the example of birds fly s v o he knows ideas then third one is dad gave me money s v o o next one just keep that s v c i'll talk more about that as you go ahead s v c i'll talk about that fine now tell me once again look at this tell me which one is a meaningful sentence helping her friend with the help of her friend ananya helped her friend which one is a sentence guys two things that structure should match and it should give the complete meaning then only you can call it as you know right yes now can you tell me the structure of that sentence it falls into sv or svo or svo or what where is a verb helped and ananya and object now point is look at this well, I'll, i'll i'll attack this once again where is the verb helped now i'm changing where is the verb will or help or will help so point i'm trying to make verb can be a single word or a group of words okay now where is the subject subject can be a single word or a group of words that's a point i'm trying to make okay where is the object receiver object can be a single word or a group of words okay sometimes what happens guys you look at the sentence you take a long deep breath start reading the sentence you complete your breath sentence doesn't complete but still it that has to fall into the structure what happens when i see that outline of the sentence my comprehension is good i'll practically prove it as we go ahead okay now look at this the old black dog wagged its long tail where is i am asking to look at the sentence wise see what happens guys sir do i have to do that in exam no just go to that nursery lkg how did you start looking at the you know words and read a then you take your own sweet time uh, p p p p l e 
apple now after that a b b l e apple after that apple then you look at the sentence and read skill okay same here this knowledge helps you it runs back of your mind understand this okay now where is the verb fact where is the subject the old black dog though in subject i have a group of words remember my hero is last word okay left side of that hero are all hero's friends grammatically adjectives okay hero's friends are adjectives they describe okay now wagged what what is the receiver its long tail is the object but in that hero is last word tail and left side adjectives but the structure is s v o now point i'm trying to say in case if i have a very big sentence i break then i will only focus on heroes dog wagged tail that's the major information okay i focus on that okay next now look at this where is the verb the sorry two young boys rang our doorbell where is the verb and who hero okay extra information is two young okay rang what okay our doorbell now only take that basic without eliminating that extra information you take out that svo hero verb hero boys rang bell that's what the major information and are so what happens in a sentence with this structure also you can expect to see uh, extra information you should eliminate that extra information okay now interesting point is this i am sure you know these words grammatically these are called what can you tell me which is called prepositions but i am sure you don't know this what guys whenever there is a preposition in any sentence randomly you take one sentence and check for the preposition right look at this one he is in the class where is the verb is where is the subject where is the preposition where is the preposition in now right side immediately are two words or three words or four whatever the number of words right side till you find that noun you have to close this this is one group you have to consider this as one group okay why i'll tell you because that is always an extra information preposition right side you may expect to see immediately or 2 3 4 5 whatever the number of words right side where you find the noun you stop there and close it that is extra information now look at this intelligent students are are here guys where is the verb where is the subject subject means you have to say intelligent student who is the hero extra information intelligent right now see the same sentence how i am going to write students with intelligence are here now where is the verb r now where is the preposition preposition where should i close now read the sentence without that so with intelligence is extra information in the previous one what is extra information i use single word there here i use group of words are you guys following what i'm trying to say so once you know what is extra information what is the major information clarity is obviously expected that's a point so no look at this prepositional phrase in sentences are extra now i want to uh show you something maybe random i'll take one article let me add hot spot okay we'll take this for only guys 
read the first, can you see that read the first sentence and identify the verb express network private limited forms part of the uh, a new indian express group and was incorporated on august 13 1999 under indian companies act 1956 where is the verb ma forms okay then uh, where can you show me prepositional that's called prepositional phrases where is the preposition phrase of Anyway, end part is there that we'll say right then 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 look at the next one this company was promoted by express publications by express publications initially you practice like this but what happened while reading itself okay 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 i'll take out that hero hero in a verb in all comes out highlighting other things are secondary important i'm not saying it it's not needed but you should know what to read first what to read second okay this also helps you to understand your general studies and all. See, you read a lot of stuff, right? But remember what to take, what not to take. So what you sometimes you get carried away with that extra information, which is not needed. Okay. Okay, let me randomly take. Guys, show me preposition phrases here in this. Where are the preposition phrases here? The Indian exchequer includes taxes and duties on petroleum products and crude oil. That is extra information. Next, the Comptroller and Auditor General of India is the country's highest audit institution. Where is extra information? Of India. Okay, you got this idea. Now, look at this. I said SV, SVO, SVO. SVC, I haven't talked much about that. And I said S can be single word group of words, V can be single word group of words, O can be single word group of words. Now look right on one more sentence. My friend is here. My friend is here. Where is the verb? Okay, where is the subject? My friend. Now, right side of that verb, you have a word here. What is the question you put so that answer is here? Where? Underline and write down where. Next. My friend came yesterday. My friend came yesterday. Where is the verb? Came. Who? Subject. When, what is the question you put for the test today? When? Okay. Next. Write down one more. <coughs> My friend came leisurely. My friend came leisurely. My friend came leisurely. Where is the verb? Who? Subject. Now, what is the question you put for that? Why or how? Why? Leisurely, sir. No, no. How? Right. Leisurely is answer for how. Now, point I'm trying to make. When, where, why, how. Remember this. When, where, why, how. Write down. Any word or any group of word is giving you answer for when, where, why, how. Extra information. Any word or any group of the words is giving you answer for when, where, why, how. Extra information. Now, listen to this. <coughs> Interesting point is, <coughs> I ask you a question. Okay. <coughs> you give me answer in a single word. Only one word. You do it. I'll ask you a question about you only. I don't test your other things. Only one word. What is your name? Punish. Okay. Where are you from? Guntur. Where are you now? Okay. Uh, what are you doing? One word. <laughs> right. He can answer. Okay. Or when did you come? Today. When did you come? 
when did you come so all this question is answering with a single word now sentences what is your name okay where are you from okay where are you now when did you come today sentence i came here blah 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 right that is what guys understand what i'm trying to say here the information is given in the form of a sentence so ultimately the bottom line is guys if you give me some information i have some glasses okay i see this information through the eyes of what what is he talking about who is he talking about when where why how what else he'll give you sentence all the sentences are answers agreed or not you know all the sentence is giving in the paragraph i have four sentences it means in other angle there are answers for some questions so i am putting questions this is called active reading okay don't worry as we go ahead you know you understand better i am sure everybody is going to get if not 100% 50% i can guarantee you because only little change just angle change oh then ah simple okay anything you know magic also if you know the trick i can also do otherwise wow you are super here same with the comprehension interesting point everything is on the paper you don't have to scratch your head and look up and down, nothing everything is there on the skill as i said okay now look at this <coughs> we'll go to one paragraph and i'll tell you one more technique what was the first technique i said what is the basics of reading what is that questions you going to put to this passage to understand what are who and scope and tone now look at this guys in this sentence maybe it's too early i have to actually give some more but even i cannot uh, control my emotion i want to show you one paragraph okay now let me see as i promise we will see one previous year questions is it all previous year questions i'll show you Go, th go through this <clears throat> after that you have options i'll join you then i'll give the technique in case if you don't get it right then we'll again we'll do it then obviously we'll get it right go through this <laughs> one of the previous year csat questions okay shall i read india has suffered from persistent high inflation fact or opinion okay i'll slightly change India has not suffered from persistent high inflation fact and opinion <clears throat> now india has suffered from persistent high inflation fact and opinion fact and opinion you man bisna jeppo opinion okay he is a good boy sir fact he is not a good boy sir opinion okay obviously somebody said india has suffered from persistent high inflation that is your opinion now what happened look at this active reading means i stop there it's an opinion right so obviously has given opinion and he will definitely try to support he has to prove me so what do i expect he will give some supports i mean facts to support this <clears throat> okay increase in administered prices demand and supply imbalances imported inflation aggravate aggravated by rupee depreciation and speculation have combined to keep high inflation going factor opinion okay leave it to you if there is an element common to all of them it is that many of them are the outcomes of economic reforms india's vulnerability to the effects of changes in international prices has increased with trade liberalization the effort to reduce subsidies has resulted in a continuous increase in the prices of commodities that are administered okay 
Now, what is it asking you to find out is you choose your option. Under the present circumstances, India should completely avoid all trade liberalization policies and all subsidies. <coughs> Due to its peculiar socio-economic situation, India is not yet ready for trade liberalization process. There is no solution in sight for the problems of continuing poverty and inflation in India in the near future. Economic reforms can often create a high inflation economy. What's your answer? Who's going for A? Who's going for B? Still reading? Who's going for C? Who's going for D? Who's going for E? Okay, now look at this. What is the topic? Understand, now I'm sure everybody with confidence will give the answer, guys. What happens here? I have taken uh, uh, one topic. Now, what is that I'm going to talk about? Or what are the possibility? Number one, I may talk about when angle. What? When angle. Where angle? Why angle? How angle? In other words, sometimes what happens, he will give you one opinion of his and he is supporting. Or he is simply giving some definition in that paragraph. Or he gives a problem, stops there. Or he gives a problem and he also gives a solution, stops there. He gives a problem, he gives a solution, existing solution and he talks about the problem with the existing solution, stops there. He gives a problem, solution, not you know unhappy with this present solution, he will give one more solution. So you see this overall picture of that. Now, here, as I said, ask these questions. What is he talking about? India suffered from persistent high inflation. India, high inflation. Uh -huh. Then, is he talking about when? When did this happen? Did he, did he say anything about when? Or did he say anything about why? Or did he say anything about how? Or did he say anything about where? What is the question you can actually put? That's it. So he has given India inflation and why? Now tell me in summary why? Blah, 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 blah. That's the, that's the story. There ends the story. Did he say anything extra than that? Yeah, inflation and he has a reason. Sir, he has given one opinion and he has given the reason for that or a problem and the reason there ends the story. So, and as I said, maybe he would give this is the reason. Some people think X is the reason, but Y is the reason. So you can say, sir, some people, all that information I have to give in the part. So once you know that fellow is giving you Y here, you got it. Now look at this. Under the present circumstances, India should completely avoid all trade liberalization policies and all subsidies. Now, I think like this. This fellow is giving you solution did writer give any solution there no he simply gave the problem and the reason for the problem so no solution due to its peculiar socio-economic situation india is not yet ready for trade liberalization process his opinion but what is that he has given he has given a problem he has given reasons for that he has not given a solution then there is no solution in sight for the problems of continuing poverty and inflation in India in the near future. And, you know, see what happens generally, we get carried away. Yes, that's what I've been studying all these years. Or you end up giving your opinion. Who's bothered about your opinion? <laughs> Ma, understand one thing. In your preliminary exams, okay, no one is actually asking your opinion. Only in mains. Where? you are asked in essay questions and all, then I am interested in your opinion. But generally, we, we are tuned like this. For everything, we are like very judgmental. Without our knowledge, the opinions, you know, come out like this. <laughs> why I don't understand Kohli has gone for this. You, you, I don't understand why he married Anushka. He should have gone for Deepika. My opinion. We all form, you know, why did he go for batting now? Or, you know, you, know, you should have gone for engineering, engineering huh? no, medicine. So we all give this one. So as I said, no one is really interested in your opinion. 
writer said, examiner asked, I'm not asking nothing, sir. I don't know. He has given a problem, reason. Now, there is no, sol no, 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 sir. Solution part, he did not talk about. Economic reforms can often create a high inflation economy. Reasons. There ends the story. Now, I'm telling you, simple tip. Always try to see the story through the eyes of this question words and see the magic. What, who and scope the pakka. It should be there. Now what I've given when, where, why, how is optional. He may give all, he may give some or he may give one. You find out that. So that reflection I see in the option. Okay. Most of the times, you know, you, you, if, you know if you see your previous your question, he talks about a problem and it's there. As I said, I'm repeating. Problem, solution. Or sometimes what happens, <coughs> he started with the fact. So when I'm reading a fact, 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 three facts, I am waiting for his opinion. Please understand, first three are facts. So I'm like, okay, okay, why are you giving these facts? Means he's trying to give his opinion. Once I see his opinion, okay, all these facts are for this opinion. Huh? Now I understand. Okay, now let us try something else. Those who have given me, they have given me right answer. Some people are still hesitant. Yeah. Look at this one. The author's viewpoint can be best summed up in which of the following statement. We'll come back. Now, try the technique I used. Try to see the overall picture. Is it this or this? When or where or why or how? Or problem solution or only problem or problem solution and problem with the solution, whatever. Ready? Yes? <coughs> Ready? I want everybody to answer. Who's going for A? Raise your hands. Who's going for B? Don't look around. Sometimes the whole world may be wrong. Who knows? Yeah? <laughs> <coughs> Who's going for C? Who's going for D? Most of you have gone for E. Hands up. What is the topic, ma? What is the topic? The first sentence itself, he has given the topic. The conflict between man and state is as old as state history is equal to this problem is very old. I summarized it. Okay. Now, okay. Let me uh, give you one more technique, guys. Write down this word. <coughs> this is called paraphrasing. Paraphrasing. Do you know this, guys? In your mains, you have presi, presi writing. Presi writing means he'll give one uh, uh, passage, and you are supposed to write that in one third of its uh, length, size. You have to cut down. It means you should know what to eliminate. Songs, music, all that has gone. Fight scenes, during all gone. So you will give me the chunk of that. <coughs> the same skill is tested here if you ask me same in, in, in the form of a reading there one question you know uh, summary anyway paraphrasing means read the first sentence and say it yourself say that in your own words think that you are actually explaining it to your friend and the, uh, as short as possible this is called paraphrasing putting that that's what you guys do when you read a book or whatever, you know, some topic you read. And in exam, do you print? Obviously, take the summary of that, right? You put that same idea in your own words. That is called paraphrasing. So let us start with a single word. Now, the conflict between man and state is as old as state history. See my thought process. First, to give me a paraphrasing of this. What is that he's saying? Or same here. Tomorrow, 11 o'clock class come same technique use surf man state fight very old cool <coughs> next although attempts have been made for centuries to bring about a proper adjustment between the competing claims of state and the individual the solution seems to be still far off here <coughs> once i talk about this language skills this is a like, you know, cakewalk. Now, I tell you. 
sentence started from here ends where of in this this is actually the package of two sentences although two individual is one sentence the solution seems to be still far off is a second sentence this is a package of two sentences it, it means two ideas are there okay and you should know that sometimes we have three types of sentences in english simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence in a complex sentence you have minimum one primary idea one secondary idea that is the reason it is called i'll talk more about that don't worry so what i do okay this is a uh, one idea that is secondary idea what is a primary idea from although to individual is secondary idea read the primary idea <clears throat> now read that this and this then this the conflict between man and state is as old as state history the solution seems to be still far off although blah 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 happened now paraphrase it fight man and state old you know attempts made no solution right go to the next one this is primarily because of the dynamic nature of the human society where old values and ideas constantly yield place to new ones one sentence uh, i think uh -huh. problem no solution why no solution see i'm trying to put that you know why where when how why no solution is is giving reason for why no solution not for the fight why fight no 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 why no solution <laughs> that's it okay and 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 yeah. can you tell me that why why no solution so dynamic nature old values and always new you know new one come old go whatever i'm just you know making it a fun but that's what my, my, you know don't no one is going to hey, is was a you no know, why did you say no brain won't ask you ideas ideas that's what i said what's your name my name is so and so i am so and so or x y z doesn't make any sense so here try to make as short as possible next it is obvious that if individuals are allowed to have absolute freedom of speech and action the result would be chaos ruin and anarchy he has given his opinion if this is a situation why this one and obviously he says this is clear why this is happening means my i am giving my opinion story now i'll say he has given a problem then tried no solution reasons for why no solutions the same story what you have put you should see that story in the options <clears throat> the conflict between the claims of state and individual remains unresolved anarchy and chaos are the obvious results of democratic traditions old values ideas and traditions persist despite the dynamic nature of human society constitutional guarantee of freedom of speech is not in the interest of society what's your answer answer me guys gattiga all of you are going for a on the why not b c d when 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 uh now understand now understand <clears throat> now let me focus on just two minutes examiner's technique that fellow thinks like this number one uh, how to confuse this fellow let me give exactly one opposite of that old values ideas and traditions persist despite the dynamic nature of human society opposite no 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 old ideas always go new ideas come that's what passage said that fellow has given one opposite statement next he will give you something irrelevant but he will try to make it relevant ah oh, correct correct you know generally those things are you know touching your general beliefs of the people okay na then and 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 uh, anarchy and chaos are the obvious results of democratic traditions what did he say about something ha huh? edo obvious results edo cheppadu okay 
freedom speech action result you know that's why we cannot say democratic okay now there are some techniques half correct half correct 90% correct 10% you know half correct is full wrong i want the complete part so obviously answer is answer is conflict between the claims of state individual remains unresolved so guys actually today i was focusing on main point only main I did not touch that inference just give an idea right so what i do in the next class as i said first half i'll focus on the sentence structure as i told you you should know sentence i break the paragraph into sentences sentence may be package of three four ideas but not that all the ideas are important you should know which one is primary idea which one is secondary idea which was extra information or sometimes if needed i will make it into three words as yes, we go gives me clarity so initially what happens you put some efforts consciously you, you do that and slowly it goes into your back of your mind okay that's what human brains are made of you know see we brain is very lazy you know conscious mind is very lazy if you put using your conscious mind it demands a lot of energy and that to one o'clock and all no energy levels okay so slowly what happens is conscious mind throws everything into subconscious mind so you have to train subconscious mind <coughs> for that <coughs> you have to understand the structures what is extra what is not and what are the questions i need to put you know the other thing i hope you have learned something thank you see you tomorrow guys